Hello everybody, today I want to make a review, well more than a review, is a how to use basics of the field piece uh, SZ260. Uh, this is a pretty good uh, multimeter that you can use on the HVAC R field uh, for air, condi air conditioning. And before I get it off of the bag, I want to show you some uh, features of the control. As you can see, we have this is the main control of selection. You can select the kind of voltage and different options. So right here we got the toggles, the buttons on the bottom. We have the light. We have the options select the select the different options and change the modes. Um, maximum and minimum reading holes, hold and range. Uh, you can change manually or automatically. Uh, we're gonna talk about a little bit about safety like you can keep this in a dry space an isolated space uh, make sure the the um, multimeter uh, leads are in good condition they're not open so and this is uh, the multimeter i know that this is not a new multimeter that's why i decided more than a review is how to use basics of it so as you can see right here i have the two leads of the meter and i have the temperature uh, lead so this uh, first option that i just hit is uh, to use the clamp to measure the high uh, voltage cables this is a uh, dc uh, then this is um i mean ac and dc so as you can see right here um i'm choosing different showing you how it works in the different options i'm going to put it off and i want to talk to you about this section which is a three different section with is like you can test ohms diodes uh, you can test um, uh, you know uh, continuity and also um, the microfarad like for the one for the capacitors of the so you can see the you can pause the video and check the meaning of every single uh, detail every single signal right there and you just select to change in between each of them so we're gonna hit the light button if you are in a dark area uh, you work in a, a slow light um, so you can use the light uh, to see you know when it's darker sometimes some people have to go for an emergency call so right here we can see this is a non-contact voltage the option that you just have to get it closer to the cable when the power is running then you will detect so it will beep and you will detect that it's power running in there so there is power in the cable so that's that's the n n c b which is non-contact non-contact voltage and at the end we have the temperature so option that will be in fahrenheit and celsius so what you do is um you disconnect the the tester leads and we change the switch for temperature you select the range right here as you can see select I press select you always just select to to shift the options for example in the four options you shall you press select to select uh, uh, ohms resistance diodes and microfarad so that's how you change all that and right now i'm going to move this switch which is temperature and you see you will realize that it closed half in each of the lead connector and then you'll see in these plugs there is one smaller and one thicker as you can see right here also so you make sure you align those according to their size to make sure they fit properly and you make sure you push it all the way you will find it hard a little bit but you push it all the way in as long as you are plugging it properly so as you can see i just plugged the sense this uh, temperature sensor and is measuring 72 degrees 72 uh, Fahrenheit and for those who use Celsius so you just press select and then it will change to Celsius so now it's 22 Celsius it is the equivalent um, of what you saw over there 76 degrees 22 degrees um, and so on so like you put this um, end of this wire in the pipe and then you check the temperature of the you know was the temperature of the pipe and you take your subcooling or uh, superheat uh, according to the 
depending on what uh, system you're working on. So right now we're gonna take AC, we're gonna measurement AC, um, and then we're gonna put back uh, the tester leads. Once again, we already checked for safety uh, since this is a used um, multimeter. We already checked for safety that the leads are okay. As remember, I took that from the manual. Many of the things we do, um, the people does is when they get a new product, they throw away the, they get the product out of the box and they throw away the manual. Never do that. You never know when you're gonna need references. At least I'm trying to change that. That's what everybody commonly do. So what I'm gonna do is, if you can see in the outlet plug, there is a bigger, there is a bigger hole and a smaller hole. The bigger hole is neutral. We have neutral right there. We got power uh, right here, 120 volts power. And then we got our lamp, which is like ground. You see the round one is ground. Uh, never connect any plug that you don't see. I mean, for more safety, you wanna make sure all the plugs has uh, the ground. Um, so what I'll do right now is I'm gonna put the black uh, tester lead inside the the bigger one the the big one and the red one in the small but i'm trying to look where to hang this remember one of the features that i really like about this is this magnet right now i'm using like a metal bar and i'm hanging it in a metal metal bar i'm using the light because it's kind of poor light but i am i'm gonna change the, the position of this and then uh, we can put it in a better place we can take our measurements here um, I'm gonna put it on the other bar that is right next to. Uh, we're gonna have a better view over here of what we're doing. Um, see, one of the features I love about this tester is this metal holder. You can put any metal surface and it, it stays there like you put glue. As I say, I'm putting the black lead in, the, in our neutral and the red one in the smaller one. So we already have an alternate uh, and then the A, so in the al alternate uh, current. So as you can see, I got um, 118 volts in all residential or commercial buildings like this where I am working. So the, the standard is 120. So we got a good measurement right here. So we are okay with the measurement so this is the option i really like which is the magnet that it has on the back i'm going to remove the tester leads and now we're going to test dc um so once again i want to show you right here what's the maximum you see uh you we, we're going to have 400 volts and two 600 volts you know ac um and then that's the maximum is 600 volts you can measure with this uh, clamp. Uh, there is cables, you can measure the, for example, uh, what they do is they measure the cable, the capacity of the cables of the panel. So right now, I'm putting it into AC. I already did AC. Now I'm gonna do DC. So um, in this corner of the wall, uh, the drywall installers, they put a metal uh, piece for every single corner. So I'm taking advantage of that and I'm hanging the meter right there with the magnet. And then you can see how good is the magnet. I, I'm very impressed on how good is the magnet to, to, uh, to stay. It's pretty strong, pretty solid. You can hold by itself, you can work without no problem. So what I'll do right now with this is I'm gonna use the, one of our uh, small vacuum battery, um, which is 18 volts. And then you obviously can see which is which, which is negative and which is positive. So I'm gonna put the tester leads in each. So I'm gonna put the black, uh, you know, is the, ne the negative, and the red one as a positive. This battery belongs to these little vacuums. They are pretty good for basic tasks or clean the car. Um, I'm gonna leave it there. I can explain to you that, <laughs> that, that kind of vacuum later. But the main thing is right now is test the DC part of the tester so i'm going to try to insert the probe on the negative side the black one and uh, i'm going to find a way to put it properly that they can stay there um, and then use the red one in the positive side 
Uh, once again, I want to mention that the battery is fully charged. It might give me more voltage than what it says it is. Um, so right now, for example, it's giving me 20 volts, but because the battery is full capacity right now, it's, it's low. I mean, it, it hasn't been used and it's been on a charger for a little while. So as you can see, this is the DC part, what I can show you. Let me know in the comment if you want me to do more tests uh, with this uh, tester and I will be happy to make it for you. So this is the English version of this video. I hope you like it. Please give me your support and give me thumbs up. And I'm gonna keep uh, thanking to my uh, English subscribers. I will keep more videos for you guys. I haven't forgot about you. Thanks so much.